The more you explore this e-ink display, the more you realize how useful it is. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and ever since Amazon introduced the Kindle, e-ink display technology has become something I've been really interested in. And you see it showing up in lots of really intriguing places, like the actual shelf tags in supermarkets for individual products. And e-ink, as you just can see here, is a technology that turns on and off individual pixels and then requires no power to keep it in that state. So obviously for an e-book reader, the entire time you're reading a page, no power is being used to display that. And this uses that same technology in a really intriguing way. This is the Terminal E-Ink dedicated information display. And it's just a screen, right? So it's a screen with a little stand and it's battery powered. And depending on how you have it set up, it can last for as long as six months without needing a charge. There is a little USB-C port in the back for you to charge it up, super easy. And the idea is that this actually communicates with the terminal server where you have an account and you've set up specific things that you want to have displayed at a certain time interval. Now, this is not a live display. So right now it's showing me the weather, but this is the weather from 10 minutes ago. So in weather terms, that's totally fine. But like it, you can show stock tickers and we'll see that in a minute, I think, but it's not gonna be a live update. It's gonna be, here's a snapshot as of however long ago I actually did that update. And you can configure all of that. But the most, the speediest updates you can get is a new screen every five minutes. Now you might think, well, that's not very interesting, but it turns out there are a ton of really interesting uses for this. And because it's so small and because it's so light, you can easily like put this on your fridge or have it on the wall or even have it like right next to your computer display. And the idea, one of the motivations behind creating this was that instead of doom scrolling and instead of looking at all this miscellaneous stuff that distracts you, you can use a device like this and then it'll just give you pithy important data on a relatively slow basis. So. It's a 7.5 inch e-ink display that's at 800 by 480. It is black and white. There's no color, there's no grayscale, but it turns out that works just fine. As you can see here with the weather, it is a big, bright, easy to read display. It has an 1800 milliamp hour battery. And how often do you need to charge it? Well, that depends on how often you have the screen displayed as you can see in this graphic. Dimensions, it's 6.7 inches by 4.5 inches by 4 tenths of an inch thick. I mean, I actually am a really big fan of this. <laughs> this has just been sitting in my kitchen on the counter and I just constantly am looking at it to see what it's showing me. But it wants to actually, I want to jump into the whole software end of it. So it's a web interface, you set up an account, you pair your account with your device and then within the software, you can actually control it. So let's actually jump onto my Mac and let me show you how the back end works. And I'll show you the screens of the eight different plugins and recipes that I have hooked up. This is the web interface. And as you can see, it gives you a nice overview of everything going on, showing me that I have nine plugins. I have displayed 321 times and I have saved, quote unquote, 10 hours of time by not using other devices to find this information. Now, where this gets fun is when you go and actually look at some of the things like all of the different plugins that are available. And to say that there are a lot of plugins is an understatement. And then recipes, which aren't quite up to plugins yet, there's even more, so I count over 200 of these. And on any of them, you can just pick one, and you can see here's 
what the screen will display and then at the bottom you can see how many people are using it and you can install it or you can make your own version if you want to try hacking or changing it. Then I go to my playlist and this shows me all the different plugins that I'm using including this private plugin and let's take a break for a second and I'll step you through each one and explain what they do. The first display is one of my favorites. It's weather and you specify lat long and then it gives you very detailed weather. Next up is a screensaver and it just randomly picks from a library of science fiction images. The International Space Station location and obviously it keeps moving so this keeps updating. Every time you see it, it's a new location. And here are my YouTube channel stats, kind of interesting to look at. Upcoming movies, usually the descriptions are a little longer than this one, but you can see it's sort of a fun way to keep up with what's coming. Mondrian, a simple screensaver in the style of the famous artist. And this is NPC for Open Legend RPG. My buddy actually wrote this one. And it's a randomly generated monster from the RPG Open Legend. And finally, stock price. So you set up what stocks you want to keep track of. And I'm looking at Apple, Google, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. And Google's not doing great, but NVIDIA continues to rocket upward. So one of the other things you can do here is you can see here, you can create layouts where you have more than one plugin displayed simultaneously. And I also want to point out that for some of these, you can go in and edit and you can change how often it actually gets data. So the ISS location changes frequently, obviously, since it's zipping around above the earth, but if it's a data point that is maybe a history information of the day, then once a day is plenty enough in terms of refresh cycle. So there's that, back to playlist. And if I go to support, then you can see here there's support. Let's go back. And finally, under my own account, there's more things that I can adjust and tweak on the device. So that's the basics. And for the most part, you'll probably just be looking at the dashboard. Now, let me jump back on camera. In all, there are over 80 plugins and over 200 recipes and new ones added every week. In fact, my buddy's RPG character generator was something that wasn't in the database a week ago and he wrote it partially because he's also been experimenting with this and like me, he's a huge fan. <laughs> so when you use those layouts, as I showed you, they call them playlists, but I consider them layouts, you can actually have multiple shown at the same time. So I could have a quote of the day and I could have the weather and I can have some stocks. If I wanna lay it out that way, it supports that. Um, from a security perspective, this is super secure because nothing's ever pushed to the device. So whatever you change on the software, it's just gonna affect the website's configuration for your machine or your device until your device uses your Wi-Fi connection to pull the next screen in its queue. And it's only gonna do that as frequently as you've specified. So if you specify that you only want it once a day, then just once a day for just a second, it will just pull enough data to display the next screen. And that's all there is. So it's really secure. No one's gonna hack into it. No one can push inappropriate things or whatever onto your screen and it's all open source and the company has made a commitment that if for any reason they have financial difficulties and end up going under that they will actually put everything that they've written into open source so that someone else or some other developers will undoubtedly pick it up and continue working with it they've sold thousands and thousands of these units now, not much else I can tell you. I'm really a fan. It's really partially because it's so simple. And you can see here that this has a black frame. So they have 
the original design was black or white or clear and now they've just introduced three premium finishes that are sage and gray and a faux wood design and kind of wish I had gotten the wood one it looks really cool it's much more like a picture frame but just all in all this is one of these devices that I ever <laughs> way too rarely see, which is just a really smart, elegant, simple design that does one thing and does it really, really well. I am absolutely a fan. I think that a lot of people will enjoy this. And over 50% of the people that have these are not developers and do not write their own code or anything. So if you're thinking, oh, do I have to be a programmer to use this? Yeah, don't. But if you are a developer or you're learning how to do development, it's actually quite easy to do your own little plugin or recipe. You can even just take one that exists and then what they call fork it off and then go and hack on it or edit it yourself. And then you have your own so you can display custom information like how many likes you have on Facebook or something like that. Really pretty darn fun stuff. I could see this in retail outlets, just, you know, stuck behind the cash register, showing some useful information. And then maybe in the corner, it might have the weather forecast or something. Easy, right? So we do need to talk price. Before we get there, I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new content. And please, if you found this of value, give me a thumbs up. Really do appreciate that. Excellent. This is the Terminal E-Ink Dedicated Information Display, and it is $139 at useterminal.com. That's for the black or the white or the clear. If you are interested in sage or gray or faux wood, it's a few dollars more at $154. And I will tell you, this is actually one of my favorite things that I've gotten in a really long time. It's just fun and simple and elegant, and I highly encourage you to check it out and get one for yourself. I'm confident you will enjoy it. That's what I got. I'm going to go back to figuring out what new plugins and recipes have shown up, which means I'll have to catch you in my next video.